Welcome to ZombieChickenTaco.com. This is Lesson 1, Video 4. We're going to be uh, looking to a couple of tools, a couple more tools in, uh, in Radiant here. We're going to get to the basics of the rotation edge tool, and we're going to show you how to cut a brush in half or put uh, put some a little bit of detail into your level with, instead of just square things, we can actually round them a little bit by cutting corners off. All right, there we go. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to place down a brush like normal, and I'm going to get you guys started in this early. Make it cock, right off the bat. C-A-U-L-K. No jokes, people. Um, the cock brush is essentially tells the system that I'm here, but I am not going to render. I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not going to be a part of your system. So, um, no vertices wasted there. Now, with this, we can control, shift, left click, and we can put faces on those. We'll get more of that into the, the texturing uh, of our levels later I'm gonna get into more advanced texturing but right now we're gonna deal with the rotation rotation I like to look at the handles on the edge here and think of them as bicycle wheel axles um, if we wanted to rotate this object around this face make it stand lengthwise we would do that with the rotate X which is up here in the top left we have a new file save uh, I use control S to save We've got our flip tools, but we're going to use rotate tool, and we can rotate that and make that stand upwards by looking at the bicycle wheel of X. We're going to do it the short way first by rotating on the X here, and we're going to do it on the lengthwise by rotating on the Y. See, if you look at it as a bicycle wheel on the Y, we're going to flip it on the Y. And, of course, we can do the Z up here. I prefer to use the shortcut on rotating on the Z here with the shift D key. Then I'll do that without using those others that'll, that'll rotate on the Y and that's just easy for rotating because a lot of your models that you'll put in your maps to help detail and flesh them out will use the shift D to rotate it and you're gonna just micro do management after that we'll get into detailing and how to detail later but right now that's pretty much it on rotation now well, there's a couple of extra tools aside from scaling rotating and, and placing your brushes we've got the clip tool what we do is what we're going to hold down the, uh, the control button we're going to hold down the control button we're going to hit the right key that's going to place our first point of interest almost like i've got to cut from point a to point b we're cutting from point one to point two what that'll do is show us our brush now everything on the right hand side of what you cut is going to be pink that is going to be your primary face if we were to hit enter it's going to get rid of this red area here so I'm going to do that now that gets rid of that red area and leaves that one piece now what if I wanted to keep both pieces so I can separate them I got a brick wall I'm working on we're going to do the same thing we're going to right click right click by holding down that control button so holding control right click right click for our two points there's a third point option that you can do for uh, for, for duplicate cuts uh, with that third option but we're gonna hit right click right click let's do a little bit bigger there so you can see that right click right click holding that control button down and that shows us what we're cutting now if we hit hold shift and then hit enter this time that actually cuts it but leaves that additional piece as you can see here on my my 3d view now I'm hit escape to deselect them I'm gonna left click that corner and we can actually change the grid a little bit if you wanted to get into detailing move it over a little bit you got a bit of a break um, you can delete it manually by hitting the backspace or let's go back one here oh, by the way if you ever undo something you really didn't want to undo and you're not too particular in redoing it again hit control Y that is the redo that's all uh, also under edit redo so we're going to hit, go back to our bigger grid hitting four. We're going to hit this corner and that corner right there, one and, one and two. And we're going to hit shift, enter, and I'm going to move that away. Um, now that you notice that we have some not so square pieces that we can work with. So when scaling them, it's, it's a little bit different, especially on this one here. Say if I were to select this main piece and try to scale it out, could be a little tricky on how I wanted that to scale. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the E key. And this brings up our edge tool. Essentially that grabs each of these edges can be moved individually, which is great for uh, setting up walls. We'll get into that in the next uh, couple of tutorials when we start getting into structures. But um, you can select each edge and create your more precise piece that you want. And like say I was off on this first part to this part. So now that I've got that uh, that 
E tool selected. I can create that. Now, um, when you move an, a vertice over just by left clicking on the vertice and you snap it to another one, you're going to have to E again and it's not going to come back up. You hit E one more time and it's going to come back up. I don't know why that is, but it gets particularly interesting when you have multiple pieces. Um, for instance, this one. We're going to select both of them, hit the E tool, and we try to grab the one in the middle. It's going to do some fun stuff. I usually adjust it the first time and then grab individual ones and move them exactly to where I want. That's pretty much the edge tool, the rotate tool, and shift D. Remember it, it's really easy to do. Control tab goes into views. We haven't gotten anything to 3D views yet, but we'll do that here shortly. Um, I can't think of any other tools aside from the flip tools. Just essentially makes them opposite from what they are. That's up here in the left-hand corner. And that's it. Thank you very much, and see you on the next one.